Hello. Okay. Uh, I think we can directly start. Um, let me show this directly. Oh, it did grow already, I think. So on the there, there, um, this is what we did yesterday. It's not transparent yet, not in the right position and stuff, but it is, um, it is the full four hour animation. Hi Miwa, how are you doing? Uh, it is the full, full four hour animation, so we won't see that because I'm again only streaming an hour. Um, but in theory, it should grow out in that hour to be, there be at least a little, um, I should point here, right? This one. There should be at least a little red um, start because it will be like this. So yeah, we should should see it grow over the hour. And I think when I switched scenes, it already jumped a bit for just the time difference between starting screen and getting here. So it might also work that the state is not reset the way I included it. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm eager to see if we'll get like something red looking there. So yeah, if anyone sees progress on the top right side, just tell me so I know it, it works. Um, just finished making dinner right on time for a stream. Nice. What did you make? Oh wait, I did. Did you make tofu bowls something? I did see something already, I think. Um, let me check. Ah, it's like, is it some kind of noodle trade? Oh, and the, the um, pig pork always nice as ever. Yeah, then like, like how, how is that called in English? Guten Appetit is what we say in Germany to people that um, are going to eat. Let me check what that is. Guten Appetit. Enjoy your meal. Okay, so it's no special thing. It's just directly translate, translated. Okay, so enjoy your meal, Miwa. <laughs> or Guten Appetit. Um, tofu noodle for lunch, chicken stew and stir fry cabbage. Oh, okay, nice, nice. Uh, hi, Hack Hunter, nice to see you. Yeah, for you too, Hack Hunter, like, do me a favor and watch the top right corner. I hope it's top right for you. Should be. Um, if you see something red there, then the animation of yesterday worked. Uh, okay, with that, because I again only have an hour in the morning, like always. I'll directly search for the next thing that we're gonna animate. And that will be, I think, uh, do I want the big flower today or do I just want to make this? Because I think this will be real quick as it will just move around a little. Let's try to make this and then the next plant. And I think we, we get the uh, try uh, thing glowing stuff real quick, so. We can do it after, uh, start the plant after. I just need to find out again where it was. So interior options, I think. Um, also, I, I'm not sure if I should um, stop my review on the right monitor because I else will always try to see if I see progress on the plant growing. But maybe I just try to control myself. Okay, let's see what we have here. That we did yesterday. That's the big one we're not doing today. Oh, or not in the start, maybe later. Okay, so I guess we grab this one then. <laughs> uh, we just wanna export this thing. And I think it needs to be that size because there's a glow around it. Um. I'm not recalling if I adjusted the, well, it doesn't matter if it's symmetrical actually, because I would place it randomly anyway, so that would, uh, will be fine. Um, okay, and we don't want it in out, we want an SVG. Oh, and also, Hack Hunter, how are you doing? I 
I'm too focused on my growing plants here. I didn't uh, mind asking. Um, yeah, I guess we go with the name I have here already and call it Tria. Uh, SVG. Oh, already exists. Did I already export that? Let me hide real quick. Open my folders. Um, oh, I, I was smart last time, but I forget, forgot. Uh, I did already export everything, it seems. So I can just close this, I think. Oh, uh, uh, abort, abort. And just open the. This. Okay. That could have saved me a minute if I knew. Or recalled. I, I guess I did know. I just didn't recall it. Okay. Um, let's see if we need to fix anything here. Oh, yeah. We can get everything out of there. Um, maybe by copy paste. Okay, then we can delete that. <laughs> okay, and then we make a group and call this in inners. Also, don't ask me what this is. I just wanted to have something more there and um i don't know i started doing stuff and like with the th like theme of the stuff on stream it's always like some shapes and stuff right so i just did a triangle and then added things to it okay let's see this is the glow on top i think this is the actual thing and then this is Oh no, no, this is the glow around and this is the glow on top, like two layered glow. Or is it also behind? Ah, this is on top. Yeah, okay. So this is basically a little glow behind. So we have that around the corners. And then uh, this is glow on top. Which also means I want this glow on top to be above everything. Right. Yeah, I think that works better. Okay, so we have this now. I'm not sure if the um, naming will help, but we'll see. Because I'm not sure what... I, I think this is always transferred to the other program, but I think the naming of things is not. Oh, interesting. And this is not a normal shape. So we'll see how that will look there. Or oh, not a spline, it's it's a, a star tool thingy. So something like that, right? We'll see how that turns out there. So this is the, the thing. I don't know. And then this is the back glow. Okay, save this. Um. I think I do want to select everything and at least center it a bit better. Okay, save this. And then we, yeah, do the saving. I think we can directly animate now then. Um, so let's save this as... <laughs> Select this trio self save it. Oh, this is not good. Um let me check that on the anim other monitor, depending on what is shown here. Filter something not found. SVG to synthetic converter is designed to analyze SVG files that are 
created using Inscape, unsupported features are most likely to occur in SVG files written by other programs. But, um, huh? Why? I mean, what is in there that is not valid? Hmm. What, what did I do to this thing? I don't recall adding filters. It just has a color. And, um, how's that called in English? Not an uncertainty. Um, Let me check the naming here. Might use that word more today. Uh, unschärfe. Blur? Blur. Okay. So the blur that makes this work. Um, right? This? I'm not sure if this would apply to be a filter by their ruling. We'll just see if this makes it work hmm it does that's not good so i can't use blurs okay Let's see if I can use the, the transparency changes though. Um, and save this again. I guess this also worked. And then as soon as I... Um, Where is it? As soon as I have some glow. Wait. I'm now in the SIF file, right? Okay. Uh, this is new stuff to me. Okay, so I can save all of this. Works. I always forget that if I save it as, I'm afterwards in the file. So we're now in the SIF version and not in the PNG version and in the SVG version. So I can't do this and save. Is that right? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm, how do I do it then? Let's close it. Open the SVG version again. <clears throat> oh, also interesting, because I did save it before, I don't have the effects now. Okay, let's kind of recreate what it was. Guess something like this. Um, and I thought I could quickly do this and now I'm even failing in the... Oh, the red thing is, is, is there now. I'm not sure if it's, if it's smooth or if it's jumpy, but I do sing, see the red thing. Uh, the animation is working. I'm watching the gradual change. I did I did the same thing yesterday, but um, I I think I speeded this one up to be two times normal speed or something. But I I just stared at it and nothing changed. 
for way too long. But um, yeah, I'm happy that it, that it kind of works. Let me see if I now switch scenes, if it stays in that state. Also, thanks, um, Hack, for um, letting me know. So we go now here. Okay, I think this state um, is the same still. Nice. So I just need to somehow make it either transparent background or put a color that is uh, possible to key out. Uh, and if I can key that out, um, it will also be transparent just in OBS. Okay, so the only thing is if that is some kind of in -perf performance or something when I do gaming stuff, but I wouldn't know why. So... Yeah, ni nice that it works. Nice. Um, I just look over every too often and notice the change. Ah, uh, I could see the start of the bulb as a little um, dark, almost purple color spot, and now it gets larger and red. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, nice, nice. I, I don't know why, but I, I somehow thought that it might just not work. But I guess it does. Okay, that's cool. That will that will be a nice improvement then for um uh next time. Oh also interesting, can I let me see I switch here now and here can I flip that one or will I will I do stuff with it? Um horizontal flip. Okay, because it will be flipped in the top, bottom left corner, right? Okay, okay. Uh, nice. Um, yeah, good, good, good. Now I just need to figure out what to do with this thing. Okay, so I guess this is the way I want the SVG to be, with like 30, 30, 70 or something. Oh, here it can even be even bigger, right? To kind of get there. Okay, so we want 60, 70, maybe. Let's do it like that. And then this can be 40, I guess. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, so we save this. Now we remove the glow, and then I just need to recall how much glow I did. But I can do better because I can... Don't save it now. Come on. Okay. This is the state I save. Then I go forward to this state where we don't have the un... at the blurs. Now I save it as the, the Synfix Studio animation. Replace that. That should work. Okay, we're now in the SIF file, and I can't do this now, right? Yeah, okay. So, we have it now without the blurring. Um, and I just need to recreate the blurring in Synfig then. Um, so, let's open the SVG so I can compare how it should look. Um. Oh no, where was the blurring? <laughs> Is it? Oh yeah, scrolling down. Okay. Okay. Um. So this will be reference in a second. This gets closed. Then we um. As always. Where is it? Here. Uh, open this first. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Just to get the dimensions. Um, canvas properties. 151. One. I think I just do it symmetrical. So let's do 156. Uh, new canvas uh, 256. Um, mm -mm. 
uh, animation can be smooth because this won't be too long. I don't think it will even be like how long would that be? Just turning around a little like. Yeah, five seconds will be more than enough. Okay. Um, this is a Tria. Uh, and then we save it. Tria here. I think that should have worked and it should be here now. It is not here now. Where did I save it? Okay, it's here. Mm. Okay, so I guess I need to close it and reopen it. <laughs> I need to check a work message because I need to be available from 10 on. Um. Okay, I can answer to that later. Uh, okay, so we have this open now, and the standard way, like we always do it, is to grab this export from the other program, get it in here, grab everything inside, places so it had, has the right colors, then remove this, and now we need more groups, I think. Mm. Oh, that's first save. And maybe also, where's the scaling there? Maybe also, ah, uh, did I not select every point? Oh, it's not scaling, I guess. Let's, let's. We undo it and use this to scale. Maybe like this. If we now move them and okay, no, the scaling won't work. I guess then I'll um do I just decrease the canvas? I think I do that. Um like 200 maybe. And then I re-add the, the thing. Maybe 180. Okay. And then we delete all of this. We might need to reopen it because stuff is weird when you delete it. Yeah, it can't, we can't um, edit again. Okay. So let's close this. We open it. Um, and then let's see if we edit now. We can't edit. Why? Maybe I need to close this one. Save, close, close everything maybe. Okay. Let's see if this works. Uh, I love and hate the program at the same time. Okay, worked. But it's not really bigger than last time, is it? Which is weird to me. Ah, uh, maybe it is though, and I'm just, it's not that much bigger. 
But we have the glow around, so that should be fine. Um, okay, so what I wanted to do is put this in a... We're not maximized? We're not. Okay, put this in a group and this too. Because blurs will always apply on everything in a group. So if I would have put it a blur above, it would have applied to everything. And I just want to blur that. So we will add... New layer. Filter, I think. No. Blurs. Blurs. Motion blur. I didn't want to click. Uh, blurs. Radial blur. Blur. I mean, it should blur from the middle outside. So I guess radial blur might be the right thing. And let's also hide everything else so we can see what it does. Okay. Uh, that's a bit much. But I guess this will be fine. I um, shouldn't here be more blur. Um, does this thing have any properties? Straight onto. Composite. We'll try some set settings here because I never know what they do straight onto. I know that there are some that are. Do I want to listen to that song? Or do I want to skip? I feel like more action and loud right now. Uh, I think composite or, or straight or straight was right thing. Multiply? No. But then also maybe it's too late to skip the song now. Oh, it is getting. Is there pink or not? Also, I should click this again so you see where I'm at. Huh? What is this? Does it just not load or what? Okay, now it looks maybe better. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, let's try this. Why are they so hard to see? Where's my transparency level? 0.5 maybe? That's too little. 1.7? Okay, that's better. That's also safe in between. Um, and then... Also, the colors don't look exactly like in the other program, I feel. I'm not sure. Okay, and then for this one, we also want a radial blur. But this one will be less um, strong. So blurs. Oh, we can also see what the blur does. Uh-huh. What? What is happening? How? What, what am I doing? What am I changing? The size, okay. Interesting. What is this? Oh, I guess it starts here in that point and then I can go up and right and that defines 
the blur in the upright direction, I guess, or something like that. But I think I like the radial blur more. Okay, uh, let's remove this. And add the radial blur. And see if this works already. It does. Um, maybe a little more centered and bigger. Though I maybe want to increase the yeah okay increase the size of this um the entire thing a bit okay then add the inners add that okay okay getting closer now we do 65 we do 60 okay i think we're close enough to the original thing now uh the outer glow is bigger yeah i think the outer glow can be smaller Even smaller, maybe. <clears throat> that would be about what the other is. So let's close that now and then maybe add a black background here. So um, let's do it like that. Uh, so I can compare how it would look on things like on top on thing of things okay i think i do like that mm. let's remove that again or maybe let's keep it so we can better see what we're doing and then in the end i think i'll delete this anyway and i guess now it's time to start animating yeah i guess that's the the way to go now um like always we do the last frame interesting i don't want that to be that long uh, the, the animation is now 5 seconds and 1 frame, where I want it to be a duration of 5 seconds. So let's do that. And then in the 119th frame, we copy this, so we make sure that the animation will be smooth, smooth in the end. And then, I don't know, let's do 1 second frames. So let's go to 60. I wonder if there's a shortcut so I can directly jump here or directly input the frame I want to go instead of always needing to go there and click it. That would be nice. Toggle what? Time bar. I want to click it. Ah. Uh huh. Nah. Don't need that. Um. Okay. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, the 60th frame is wrong though, it is the 59th frame. So we add one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, yes, no. Zero till 59 should be 60 frames. Why is the length 59? Oh, also we are not, no, no, it, that's not the way it works currently, right? I have 24 frames here. Right, I did it, did it smoother. The, the plant, oh yeah, it's growing again, nice. Uh, interesting how much it also grows. Like, for me at least, because I look there too, not often enough. Um... 
uh, 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 what would I say? Oh yeah, we have 24 frames. So the plant is one second, one frame per second. So every second it's ticking, it, it's growing a little bit, but like very, very little bit. So that's why I think it will be smooth and not look like it's like it's jumping. Um, okay, so 24th frame. <clears throat> um, I do want to change the glows. Not sure how much though. And then I don't, don't know if I do that first and then do the animation of the inner part. Oh, but the inner thing shouldn't be dependent. Oh, interesting. I also have a new audio source now for the, um, for the animated flower, although it has no sound. Need to remove that. Uh, can I do that real quick here? So I see more of the, um, other audio sources. Uh, it seems I cannot. So I guess abort. Ah, yeah, I'll need to handle that later. Um, but yeah, I, I there I just saw that um, I indeed did two hundred percent speed, so it will be even slower normally. Uh, am I right here in this? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. So the thing is, if I add the frames now, and then start moving the inner part here. Um, I think that might be pro problematic because I can't change it um, and the, can't copy the state over that easily. So maybe I should um, animate the inner part first and then add the glow. Uh, so let's um, go till here where we haven't changed anything, right? Edit keyframe, okay. And then um, we create the, like after first second, um, create the keyframe, go there and change the, Oh, I, I just wasn't able to read where the layers were. I got confused. I thought that the paths were not there. Okay, and then we just move them a bit, I think. Um, okay. Maybe here we move all down a bit. Um, these up, this may be there, and this here. Is this a double point again? I don't know how this is always happening to me, but it's fine. We'll be so small that will not be seen, so it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, and then this thing can go here. With this there, this there. Uh, okay, and then maybe let's just directly see how that looks so we know if we go in the right direction. Yeah, half the quality should be fine. Half the quality is not fine. <laughs> Uh, let's do seven, five. Oh, this looks shit. Let's do one. What the fuck? Why? What? Why is it so blurry? Like, 
not good allies blurring, right? Uh, mm. I wonder if in the end it will look that bad. Um, maybe it's because the Physical size is not so, not that high, so maybe we. I think if I go up with this now, oh, it, it goes up with everything. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So let's do this to five twelve. And then do the preview, but with one and twelve frames. I think it's better. I'm not sure, but I'm happy with how it moves. Oh, that might already be enough, but no, we do some more frames. I don't think I can even start the bigger flower uh, today, so um. I rather make this nicer. So forty eight. <laughs> uh, let's jump there. Because we now have the state from twenty four directly, right? Because we like went here with the so so we're close to this always. Where if I would have created all the frames with the blur changes, I couldn't have that. It would always be this state, I think. But not sure. Uh, anyways, we do this now, and I think I want to grab them all. And rotate. Uh... Uh-huh. And then move them all here. And because the rotation is already a lot, I only move some points a little here. Um, don't want it to be too close to the edge though, so yeah. Okay, uh, save this. And let's see how it looks. Uh, are we crashing? I think we're not. No, no, you should s please stop doing stuff program. Okay. We we do it with a preview, even though the quality isn't the best. Uh, that should be enough frames. Yeah, I like that. Um, keyframe. Uh, math. Uh, sixty seventy two. 72 uh create um let's just make things closer to circles for a second 
and then they go back. Let's see how that looks. Okay. Um, review. Okay, let's loop it and see. I think that that is enough. And I think it wouldn't be too distracting if that would be like moving down here, right? I think it isn't too much moving. I like the original a bit more here because it looks a little clearer and not that blurry on top. So I think the interior is good. What we do now is um, leave that mode and adjust the transparency, uh, transparency of this, uh, I think, more and go down a bit. And then let's hide this save again and see the preview again um yeah that looks closer okay i like that problem is now that our position is perfectly i can't hit play uh, okay. I don't know what band that is. Oh, Caliban. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Oh, I do see progress on the planet, I think. Nice. Uh, I think next uh, stream... Oh, tomorrow I think I stream normal time anyway with 18 o'clock... Uh, 6 p.m. European Central Time. So I can just put... Uh, maybe I just do the stuff in the right position and not have it like there. So I maybe to tomorrow uh, make it with a transparent background and then put it on normal speed. Yeah, maybe I do that. I do need to check like if the speed is, if it's quick enough and if there's enough progress within one hour, because this as an end result for one hour would be fine to me. But as it's double speed, we wouldn't be there. We would be somewhere before that. So I would want to check um, within one hour stream if I like the end result. Okay, but I like the the things changing there. I'm not sure if it's too quick and too much. Like if it's too much, you might get annoyed seeing it. Mm. Let's try it like that. Uh, Keep it like that. Okay, what I wanted to change though is animation mode the glow in the different frames. So we'll make it go way down, make this go way down. Um, go to the next frame where we maybe make this bigger, but that's still small. 
I wonder if the, oh, I can't. I thought if I could put the point on top, if there's something that that would change, but there isn't. And then in the 70 frame, um, we have this go full on and this go a bit bigger. Let's see how that does change or if that's visible at all. Yeah, so it's kind of pulsating, Pul pulsating, pulsating. I have no idea how to call that. <coughs> ah. uh, also, I'm not sure if that will even work because the maybe I don't, I can't. Um, I didn't think about that before. Maybe I can't do the blurs because it is um, unclear yet if I can use uh, image um, video uh, encodings that support transparency in OBS. So I don't know if I can actually um, do that because if I would need to key out, like blur to key out, out blurs is not that nice, I think. I would need to look into that uh, if that's even working. But I will check that off screen. So no worries about that. That will be so boring to do. Maybe even annoying. Okay. Let's see how this looks. Oh, I could also then in OBS, if I think it's too fast, I can just slow it down there. Just do a half speed or something. Okay, but I think I like it. Just looking on it on stream, uh, if you wonder why nothing is happening. I'm just staring at it. Maybe I don't like the quick charge there. Okay, I think I just want it to be slower um, in general. So can I do it here too? I guess I can just double the duration. And then move the frames. So make this uh, 48. Make this 48, make that 48. Oh, I guess this is quite long now. Does that make sense that it's, why is this at 300? I did not want to put that in there. Okay, that makes more sense. Now it's double that, okay. Uh, let's preview that again. Oh yeah, I think that is way better. So it won't be that annoying. It's just slowly doing stuff down there, moving. Not too hectic. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I think I like it. Okay, so we won't start the um, won't start the other plant on the right side there. I won't I won't start that one, but I want to try to um, 
export it. Give you a draft file. Oh. Um, so let's see if we do this now. And I think uh, movie moth is a format that transports transports supports transparency. Um, let me Google that real quick. Um, video formats that support transparency. Um, yeah, moth. That's QuickTime. That supports transparency. I'm not sure if this program can output that though. Mm. Okay, so we just try it like this. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Um, let's render this. Uh, we can't do that. Great. <laughs> um, let's um do it like this then with um mm, mm. okay that at least works. Uh, Da Vinci Resolve. Uh, so I guess we export it now, import it in DaVinci. There we put the alpha channel over the normal channel and then we export it as a MOF file because DaVinci supports that. I'm not sure why DaVinci is taking so long to open though. And I have no idea if it will look decent or not. We can see the... Um, shouldn't it be here? Where's the alpha channel? That should be here too. Um, what? Did I not hit that checkbox? Let's see again. Render, oh, I pressed render current frame only instead of render alpha. My bad. Okay, now we're getting there. That also makes more sense that it's not that quick. Um, I th Firecat, what is Fire? Oh yeah, I know what Firecat is. Um, I, I think I just waited this out so it won't like crash on me in the worst case. Why is another thing open? Oh yeah, the second one is the alpha channel. Makes sense now. All makes sense now. Tria, Tria Alpha, okay. I do need to stop quickly though. Only at most 10 more minutes, then I need to go. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay, this is nice. This is the alpha channel as it should be. And it doesn't look too bad. Oh, I could have thought about not get letting it get over the corners. Because this way now, it will, if it's seeable, because it's like too strong, then you would see this cut here. But I'm not sure if it will be. Okay, and then we have this one. Yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of fine, I guess. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, can I open this? Skip download. We skip for now. And then I just add these here. Um, and I create, oh, it's a while since I did that. Um, I do need this special thing here. Fusion composition, uh, Tria 
tree 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 are transparent. Um uh, uh, let's delete that. Um um new fusion tria transparent duration ten seconds frame rate twenty four create and then in here media pool we drag this in um we drag that in and um there or do i want to edit on that one if it does not work i'll just check in another um in another project that's the word okay so then we go here we get um somewhere here i'm sure somewhere here there's a thing settings okay uh channel uh luminance and then let's see yeah working okay okay uh, i think we did it nice and now we go here pull that in there um and should be good to go and i think it's always black in the background okay let's save this as tria and then we <clears throat> um export as quicktime um custom uh 24 frames okay i'm not sure if i needed to hit transparency somewhere i think i needed to do that single clips individual clicks audio file um video quick time untitled tutorial browse locations um um I need to find a place to put it. I guess here, there, there. Okay. Uh, save. Okay. Um, there must be a checkbox for that. Quality best profile. Um, Let's just add it like this and render it and see if that works. Failed. Uh huh. Wasn't there a way to zoom out of this? Okay. The animation on this frame failed. Why? We can play through this. Why can't we render it? I don't get that. 
Um, also, aren't there like global settings to set the frame? Um, Okay, that, that. The rest I don't understand anyway. Okay. But I don't get why the fusion didn't work. Um. Also not sure on which frame. Maybe this frame. So let's uh lengthen it. Won't work. Okay. Um um let's shorten the thing here maybe. No, it should always be that long as the longest thing, right? So Hmm. We try the rendering again, and if it does not work, I need to figure that out uh, another time. Yeah, but where? In this position? Why though? What if I... Oh, I don't want to do that. What if I, um... What is happening here? Okay, what if I cut it and move it here just to see um, if the rendering works then or if there are more frames that are broken? It again failed. In the first position. It always fails. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea why. So I guess I need to figure out the mm. transparent export by myself somehow. Maybe research some stuff. Not sure if I'll be able to do that tomorrow, till tomorrow though. Oh, the plant has grown quite a lot. Oh, but shouldn't it be fully grown after four hours? But maybe there's more than I think of. So we should be half time now with a plant. Okay, um, I have no idea why this is not working. I need to figure that out for all the animations. Especially this one though, because I can't have the key out thing like with the other one. Maybe because I clicked on it and it couldn't transport? Nah, nah, nah. Okay. Um, let's look at this as the result of today. Or maybe let's look at it in the... Um, oh no, the rendered version isn't working. Yeah, because there we don't have the transparency. Okay, let's look at this. Uh, yeah, that's it.
for today. Thanks for everyone who's watching, um, was watching and is watching. Uh, thanks for chatting. Um, I'll be back tomorrow um, at 6 p.m. Uh, C E S T. Uh, it should be in the schedule though. I think I finally um, make it again on time. Um, not like the last weeks. Uh, but yeah, I think this is nice progress. I'll have to see if I can export it in a way that I can use it actually. Um, I will definitely uh, do the, the plant. So that will be growing tomorrow while we stream in the normal speed. Um, and yeah, I need to think about that thingy and transparency and why it's not working. Okay. But with that, uh, thanks everyone again. Um, I'll see you tomorrow.